Hey guys, this is EXRP Cowboy. Hey, this is Billy. My dreamers, my fucking roadies. Hey, um, it's just some food for thought. And you know, and we've had videos about how what if this was to give XRP the legal clarity for before the rest of the space because regulation moves slow. And what if and there there's another side that I thought maybe there's another side to that regulation. You know, maybe by us having clarity that you know that influences where we are with regulation. Uh, just think about it, whatever. But um, it separates us from the, the rest, okay? First one through the wall always gets bloody, but this is an interesting perspective. You know, I want you to think about it like um, we've got legal clarity. And we've had so many things that made the space look bad to the, the retail masses. Luna, FTX, um, you know, I mean, that's just a couple. The lawsuits upon lawsuits. And, you know, it's just beginning that journey for them. And and if if you had to look at, like, who had the least amount of legal clarity like, two years ago, it, and, and there was a chart that went up, you would see we were at the bottom the, with you know, the one with the least amount of legal clarity. We had this SEC lawsuit say, stating that just the opposite. You know, you know, we were not okay. And even though it implied the rest of the space is at risk, but it would imply that, it, but they have more than XRP because they're, they don't have a fucking lawsuit, you know? Um, it's, I mean, it's ridiculous. So... With that being said, listen to this. Um, but but now we have legal clarity. So now we went from the bottom to the top, the one with the most, and we're the only one. Um, it's just interesting with regulations coming in, everything, and all these negative things. But what if? Um, well, listen to this. Is all right. It is only because of a court in the United States that the Securities and Exchange Commission CC was admonished. You are being arbitrary and capricious in your application of the law. This is a really unfortunate reality. If every exchange traded fund ETF had to go through the same procedure and the courts in the United States told Gary Gensler off once more, that would be awful. That might be something that needs to be done. In point of fact, practically everyone is aware that Grayscale has withdrawn their Ethereum exchange traded fund. Is that the case? According to reports and hypotheses, this could be due to Grayscale's suggestion that they file an exchange traded fund ETF based on XRP rather than their Ethereum ETF. This is because Grayscale believes that their Ethereum ETF will be rejected. As an alternative to having their application officially rejected, they decided to withdraw it and instead propose XRP an XRP exchange traded fund. Be the first it is because of the report that the Joe Biden published, a, a which clarified the guidelines for investments of this kind, one. that this has come to pass. Indeed, this is what he had to say. Joe Long Biden has course. stated, in essence, that they will not provide support to institutions that hold Bitcoin or Ethereum cryptocurrency. Additionally, he stated that they would completely veto any laws that were created to assist Bitcoin or Ethereum if they were to be established. Ethereum's because of this, cap. it would be impossible to create an Ethereum exchange traded fund. On the other hand, he did not make that statement regarding XRP because it is the only cryptocurrency that is governed in the United States that is not considered a security. This clarifies the situation for everyone. Following this discussion, we need to have a conversation with you about the potential benefits of the XRP system, which might range from 30 to $50 trillion. It is not my words, however, a number of analysts, including the chief executive officer of Graham Ham Rodford, which is in charge of the exchange Arcanac, which is regulated in the United Kingdom, should have stated that the XRP ledger will make it feasible to send and receive around $50 trillion. In addition to this, the DeFi component of the XRP ledger would be required to make it realizable. Okay, you've seen enough. The ZTF token, just, which is the sole DeFi you know, token whoa. in the top DeFi token on the... Um, I don't know. He seems okay. I don't know. I, this is the first time seeing his channel, but I liked what I, he said about that. But, you know, what if, um, you know, when they're talking about rejecting things, they're separating XRP because it has legal clarity. They shouldn't be the administration, clearly. But if, it, if the world's a stage, maybe it was all to get it to where it was. And, um, you know, to get the clarity faster um, so we wouldn't have to deal with this bullshit. And maybe they'll separate XRP from ETH and other cryptos with, you know, the veto. Be, uh, Biden said he'd veto anything that allowed banks to, like, hold Ethereum and Bitcoin. You know, bottom line is it really screws things up. Um, but what if he doesn't 
you know, view XRP in that, that, you know, world. And I know we were going to say Gary Gensler views XRP as a security still, which means Biden does. Well, Gary's a puppet and, and, you know, and well, Biden is too, actually, but, <clears throat> but Biden's pay level is a lot higher than Gary's, so he's privy, privy to other information. And also, the people that are fucking his, the puppet masters are maybe telling him something different, you know? Um, it is what it is, but it's, it's interesting. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Sorry, um, not a lot of sleep.